My name's Dr Nick Harper. I'm a consultant anaesthetist and the Deputy Medical Director at Blackpool Teaching Hospitals. I've worked here for 19 years and 18 years ago, having worked here for a year, I had to blow the whistle on a consultant colleague's surgical practices because of concerns I had about patient safety. At that time, there weren't any policies or procedures to guide me um, and I had very little support in terms of advice on how I should approach the process. Um, I did it to the best of my abilities and was supported by the colleagues within my department, but the wider hospital, there was very little support for me. The organisation itself supported my action and eventually the case came to a close after seven years. During that time, I did struggle to get some support, but I was very fortunate in that I was put in touch with public concern at work, who were very, very helpful and supportive, gave me the notion that what I was doing was correct and that the fact that I had noises around me suggesting I'd done a bad thing was something I should ignore because my primary focus was upon patient safety. As a result of the case that I was involved with, there were a lot of changes within the organisation. We actually started to put into place raising concerns, policies and procedures before it was actually becoming mandated. And those policies have been in place and been in use ever since that time. I myself have functioned as a kind of beacon for people with concerns as a result of the experiences I went through. So people raise concerns with me quite frequently. And in, in that sense, I've become the natural choice to be the Freedom to Speak Up guardian. This is an individual that's now in place in every organisation in the NHS and is a, an individual to whom concerns can be raised by anyone about anything where they feel patient safety is at stake. Uh, so far, I haven't had any concerns raised to me in this capacity, but I expect that I will in the future because people do come to me with concerns re almost regardless of my role and title. We need to celebrate individuals who raise concerns when those concerns are legitimate. We also need to ensure that organisations who support individuals raising concerns are also celebrated. My organisation didn't find it easy at the time that I raised my concerns and it was described as being courageous, although what's courageous about raising concerns when patients are being harmed? I think that moving forward we are getting a much more open culture, not just in my organisation but within the NHS and within industry at large and that can only be good for patients, for people and for processes.